if you, I'm assuming that it's me again, probably. Okay. <coughs> How are you? Hi. My name is Daniel Solomon. Solomon? Yes. Um, I've, I'd like to um, give you my license and have you, um, you with my license, or you be able to tell um, at what time who I was pulled over by, couldn't you? With your computer? Not by your work. Not by, you're telling me, with my license number, you can't determine when I was pulled over by your officers. No that, okay, I guess our conversation's over. What's your name? Sergeant what? Gonsalves. Gonsalves? G-O-N-S-A-L-V-S. Do you have a, um, a badge number? No, we don't have badge numbers. Do you have a serial number? Serial. Why would you keep that a secret from me? Is that the policy? Right. I mean... Because the policy is always to give you a Okay. A badge number, but Sergeant Bonnet badge number. So there is a policy that you have to give name and badge number because your police officer is on the thing with that. The officers, you can see the badge number is on the back. That's, an, that's not true. I'd have to get up in their face. No officer wants me to get in their face to read a badge number, right? What is it? What's the problem? I can't help you. Okay. <clears throat> the first problem is that when, when I come in here and ask for you, they pretend like you're not here. It's the third time I've been told, oh, there's no watch commander. And, um, and two out of three times it turned out there, there is somebody here and they just say that. You know that. How do I? No, because, well, when I'm sitting there talking to the person and they're, and they're saying, well, he, let me check, I'm not sure if he's here, let me check. Well, you can't see me watching my office because there are new instructions or walls that you can't see inside. I didn't say I could see inside, but, but when I sit there and debate with them about whether they're here or not, and then you come out, then that kind of proves that someone's here. But, but, but that's not, that's not what the reason I'm here, okay? Um, the reason I'm here is because um, a police officer made an illegal stop of me. He, um, he claimed I was more than five feet from the curb, which is the Gardena, um, I guess that's a municipal code, um, but it's, it conflicts with the California Vehicle Code, so it's not a legal law. Furthermore, I, ha I have a camera. I, wasn't, I was never any distance from the curb. I was all the way to the right, so so he's going to pull me over. And, but even if that were true, it, it wouldn't be valid law in the state of California. Not necessarily. No, necessarily. No. Okay. Well, then explain to me, then. How is it? You guys can make up any law you want, even if it conflicts with the California vehicle? Laws that we make up don't conflict. You're mistaken. They don't. Okay. So, so if, if, you have, if you have a difference in your opinion... It's not an opinion, it's a, a couple, fact. You have a couple of avenues, okay? You like your congressman? You, you have the, if you were, you, you, you go to court and you have the right to fight the I wasn't going to miss your citation. Okay. Well, so, I mean, or I could tell you, and you could be open-minded, and you could take it into consideration, and if I'm correct, and you guys, a uh, law that conflicts with California Vehicle Code, you could take a step in the right direction and correct it, but I guess that's out of the question, no, isn't no, it? No, because our laws don't conflict. Oh, so you already know that, huh? So you, do you know the municipal code? You know the law, huh? And you already checked into it yourself, and you know they don't conflict. How can I help you, sir? You can't, apparently. Okay. Thanks for nothing.